So let's go ahead and take a look at the Zip Realty application. Um, go ahead and start from the beginning. Click on the Zip Realty. And it'll open up to a Google Maps. Obviously they're pulling in from their Google Maps API. Up here at the top left hand corner you have a location button. And when you click that it allows you to do location tracking. Uh, basically it increases, uh, they've got a little note down here, increases the power consumption and may reduce operating time when the phone is running or battery power. States phone, but obviously this is for the iPad so it's uh, a little bit differently. You can click update my location. It tells you exactly where you are. And here you see it pulling up a couple homes in the area. Tap on it and gives you some information here at the top right hand corner. Number of beds, baths, square footage, price, the address. If you click on it, it takes you to the listing. Gives you some cyber homes information that they pull as well as an e-appraisal that they pull. Sign in to see photos, details, and more. Um, not too thrilled about that with, with Zip Realty, but you know, it's, it's always about collecting data and collecting email addresses, names, addresses, whatever you can do to, to, to uh, gather data. You can click on new client, you can register. Once you're done, you can sign in. I'll go back to the maps. Over here at the top of the right hand side, you can do a filter, uh, number of bedrooms, number of baths, uh, whether it's for sale, recently sold, turn on and off, nice feature. And you can also um, filter by the type of home, whether it's a single family home, condo, land, or multifamily. You can also, down here at the bottom, click on list, and it gives you the list of homes that you could scroll through if you wanted to. Over the right hand, it's got a small icon on the Google Maps that will launch the Zip Realty's website. Um, or will actually launch the uh, Google Maps website to give you driving directions if you wanted to uh, actually visit the, the uh, home that's for sale. Go back, there's not too much um, functionality with, with the Zip Realty from, from what I can tell. Um, pretty basic information. We reviewed the um, Zillow application the other day. Here's a couple that it pulls in, actually gives you some information or gives you some pictures of the homes. Double tap and it will open up the pictures. You can slide through it just like an iPhone app or um, your photos within iPhone or iPad. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't withhold all of the photos. Um, for all the homes, just a certain few apparently. Looks like the green ones, which are the homes that were so recently sold, are the ones you cannot see. It looks like it's the orange um, ones that are actually on the market for sale that gives you uh, photos, which is nice. Some of the pictures are a little fuzzy because um, for this particular uh, multiple listing service, it's the Carolina Multiple Listing Service, the images were not created to be this big. So the multiple listing service that they work with actually crunches the photos down um, for a little bit better viewing on the website. As you can see, this expands it. So it gives it a little bit blur. Hopefully that's not the case for other multiple listing services that are out there. And that's about it for this uh, Zip Realty application. Nothing, nothing too earth shattering about it at all. So uh, take it a look, take a look at it, and leave us some comments on the blog.